Yo, hey, you already know what time it is. Yes, we're going to start, set. You already know we're going to check the record. We for the record. It's my guy, Manny Dogs. Hey, and I'm your host, Katie 3 We got a special guest for you today. Very special. I mean, I don't know if y'all realize my man been doing this thing. He been doing the real hustler behind the cap, behind the camera. You know what I'm talking about? He been capturing all the uh, all those. Like the magazine hustler? Never mind. See, look. See, this is why I can't take it. <laughs> um, my bad. Already. <laughs> you know what I mean? He been capturing all the scenes that you be seeing at, at, at your local uh, fitness centers and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he got a sponsorship, so I ain't going to really say it like it is, but you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he out here. Yeah, he out here. Captain, in the gym. Ca capturing everybody doing their thing, man. If you don't know who he is, my guy, we call him the real hustle, but... Yeah, I appreciate y'all for having me. I'm excited to be here. Do, do we call you by your real name, or do we just call you by your... You by call me Hustle. A lot okay. of people we'll call you Hustle. 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 Tanner, yeah. don't matter, man. Call his government yeah, name it, is Clarence. We're going to edit Clarence. that part out. Yeah, we're going to edit that part out. You don't know. You don't know. Clarence. <laughs> Witherspoon the third. <laughs> yeah, it don't even matter, man. But yeah, yeah no. But so. another thing though, but you probably don't realize though, he's been capturing a lot of these artists, especially around here. They vision and putting they putting they 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 art to a forefront that I really haven't really saw for a lot of other cats doing it. Facts. And I'm talking about making real sig sig what is it? Cinematography. Cin cinematography. cinematography. Yeah. That word. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He been making. He been really capturing Say a lot. Cinnamon, cinnamon, and you cinematography. You, you, <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> hey, you know what I'm talking about? But hey, capturing those moments and really bringing their artwork to life you know what I'm saying I, shout out to my guy Slim that's how I actually kind of met him initially and again like just, just seeing from what he was doing before to see what he's dropping now mm -hmm. it makes the music that much more inclusive and harder bro so saying, when you feel like it's an interactive moment bro it's like it's a full on movie for real like I feel yeah. like every every time I catch a, a reel or a still or whatever like I mean it just brings it that much I'm like damn like I feel like I'm in that shot Facts. because I, I'm, I've been like you know what I mean in those seedy areas or some of those some of those dark corners of the of, of the environment or oh, the community. We that, we know you listen, see this. <laughs> You know what? what I'm talking about? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know I'm what I'm talking about? Sorry. But yeah, he's really bringing that art to life, man. And again, I want to salute you, bro. I appreciate you for coming. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. So, so appreciate tell, you. tell us a little bit how you guys started, man. Like, what made you want to get behind the camera and really start, you know what I mean, capturing some of these moments? Honestly, it's kind of been part of my life, mm -hmm. my whole life. Just I just never took it that serious. You sure. know what I mean? Like, I used to take my football films and break that down and try to put cool edits on Movie Maker back in the yeah. day. You know? <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah. Only the real OGs know what yeah, movie yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so like that's where it all started and kind of just built off of that and then I got into personal training a little bit and yeah. wanted to promote myself. For sure. You know, so I couldn't pay the guys to do it. 100%. Because I wasn't a rich personal trainer. <laughs> so I learned how to do it myself and then I met a partner, Dennis Timmerman, and we kind of just... Went from there. Went from there. And just that's what's up. He pushed where, where me to think, be better. Where do you, you think know? that love started, though? Because it, it, I don't know if that's something that people just stumble on, mm. where they just stumble on doing something like do, in in the fashion that you do it. Right. Where, where'd that love start? How did how did like, you fall in love with it? So actually, I won a camera. Okay. So like right before that, I was that's when I started getting into it, mm -hmm. and then I signed up for this um, this transition pack. Mm -hmm. And it was a Black Friday deal, and this dude named Justin Jones, still a good friend of mine, yeah. since then, but he ended up when you, when you picking me yeah. out of however many people and drove it all the way from California. There's a video on YouTube and everything. Well, sure. right you know when that. I got that camera, I just knew, like, this is, what I'm this is it. I have to do it. Like, yeah, sure. that's almost divine intervention yeah, exactly. at that point. Somebody like, brought you a camera. It was a black <laughs> magic. <laughs> yeah, black magic. He brought it in a Tesla to South Dakota <laughs> through wow. winter storms. <laughs> through winter storms. The shit was sure. crazy. But, sure. what, what year was that, roughly? Uh, that was 2018. So right, right before COVID was yeah. a problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Food was still reasonably priced. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah, it was right then. It was like probably like... $5,500 worth of equipment mm -hmm. just right at my doorstep it was just like for sure that's what's up though man and, and again so like so once you like once you realize you can say I got the camera I gotta start figuring out how to do how to utilize that like then you realize you know saying you got the the software did, you, did uh, Justin help you learn any of the stuff he just drop it off no. you like right, have that <laughs> basically, basically he helped me set it up yeah and then basically it was on his way yeah you yeah. know that's like, what's up yeah, they had to get to a hospital. His his wife or girlfriend 
cut herself or something on the way here. It was it was a crazy trip. Like, <laughs> like the video doesn't even show like everything that he actually went through. So, yeah. but yeah, go back and check that shit out. Sure, gonna that clip pretty dope. On there. So you mentioned being a personal trainer. You um, mentioned some football stuff. So, tell us about that journey. How 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 did you start on that? Uh, what what gauge your interest into that? So. Right when after high school, I got out of or I got out of high school and I went to the military. So right when I got back from the military, I went to play football at Dakota State. And yeah. during that time, I came down with this shit called compartment syndrome. Mm -hmm. Long story short, I had surgery on my legs, mm -hmm. couldn't play football, and just kind of fell in that depressive ass yeah. state, you know. Took away your livelihood. And I came back and. Mm -hmm decided football wasn't it and I started failing all my PT tests in the army because mm -hmm. I just never recovered never mm -hmm. came back I was just out of shape partying mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. and it was like probably three months in I had to pass two PT tests just to pass the actual PT test mm -hmm. so I'm like I gotta get myself together you know mm -hmm. so I just started going to the gym just trying to figure it out like because yeah. I mean I was an athlete so I right. knew what I was doing inside there but then I fell in love with the gym mm -hmm. yeah. and realized how much I didn't know yeah. and I just got my health back ended up passing all those PT tests flying colors mm -hmm. you know got out of the army was like see you later <laughs> right, 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 right. gone and that's kind of when I fell in love with fitness yeah. was just through that so yeah, for sure, for sure. Did so, they, go ahead. When you so you when you when you in when you in the gyms and, and, and first I mean you I know when you lock in and everybody gets locked in, in the gym and they they in their focus um, especially when you when you like to bang and clang and move weight around. Mm. When did it dawn on you, man, I should capture some of these moments, not of just myself, but other people? When did that start to set in? Honestly, that just happened. Okay. Catching other people is when Crunch opened here in Sioux Falls. Mm -hmm. I was like, because before I was so like set mm -hmm. on myself, like yeah. I had to be the spotlight. Like, and then when I did get in the video, it was in fitness, but that's when I was exiting fitness too. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So then I went into the music video world, got away from fitness completely. Like I didn't want anything to do with it. Yeah. Three years, didn't touch it. Mm. Barely walked into a gym, and if it was, it wasn't. I wasn't doing what I right. what I do inside of a gym, you know. Right. So to be able to bring those worlds together at that time, I just got myself healthy first. Was going to the other gym and then Crunch Open. Yeah. Got in there, got comfortable, you know, met some people, and then I just started pulling out my camera, and I was just taking pictures, and I was just noticing people just working their ass off, and I love that shit. Like, when I see someone that Going hard, wa yeah. walks in there every single day, Motivation. like, it's like family now, it's like, I see him, like, yeah. but that's the only time I see him, I don't see him outside of the gym, it's just yeah. like, when I see you, I'm re I respect you, and yeah. those relationships are good in our lives, you know, so, to be able to capture those moments for those people, that, that's just dope for me, too, and my following's going up. Yeah, yeah, because of it. And, and again, I mean, obviously, in this day and age, being in front of a camera in the gym is pretty much the common thing. People are filming themselves, or whatever. So I'm quite sure they they like and seeing again the great cinematography that you're doing for right. where they lift. And again, it's, it's it's impeccable work that mm -hmm. you that you do that you capture those moments and stuff. Too, right, so. I appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciate that. So like, if you if you um, can you kind of guide us? Cause I, you touched on like three different careers, man. I like know. in this little bit, right? Yeah. So, you, you went from like football, and there's the military, then there was some personal training, yeah. and now this. Take us through that little journey. Mm -hmm. I know, I know you, you tell us a little bit about yes. the injury cut you off from football. Yeah, right? it was just, it wasn't worth it where so, I was at. So was football your first love? First love. Okay. Like, I just wanted to run people over. I was a yeah. fullback, and yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that's what my life was, you know? Mm -hmm. Quickly realized that's not what life is, and right. the school you're going to play for wasn't worth it, you know? Cause yeah, yeah. We we learned that a lot, but from a lot of artists, they've been talking about football or, or sport in general is usually what kind of captured their you know what I mean their, the the majority of like their life. Oh yeah, it set me up for everything. And then the unexpected injury or the unexpected you know yeah. get turned off from that, then they find they second passion or they you know, right the next yeah. One. And the the task just kind of seemed impossible, and I don't really like to say that, <laughs> but right. it's like. To get to the league, like, oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. how are you going to get there, right. and, you know? And then after football, it became um, the bodybuilding. Because uh -huh. that was, or it wasn't even bodybuilding, it was just lifting. Yeah. Because that's what put me back into 
the football yeah, area, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, Being that was the closest it. thing to football right. besides playing. And I'm not going to play ever again because yeah. I appreciate my knees and my shoulders <laughs> and my head. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, and then I just kind of fell in love with the bodybuilding aspect mm-hmm. of lifting and was watching all the bodybuilders, watching all the strong men, you know, and that's just kind of what I based all my lifts off of. And right. All of a sudden, I'm watching Mike Rashid video, CT Fletcher. I'm like yeah, yeah, watching yeah. all these I was, guys. I was, was going to touch on that. So who, oh, geez. Yeah, so, so who are some of your major influences for the, so for the bodybuilding? Mike there? Rashid, yeah. CT Fletcher, Bounty Tank. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Rob. All, all yeah, Big dudes. Rob. Like all these, all those dudes. You got to be up on Strength Cartel. Yeah, all the Strength Cartel guys. <laughs> Big like, SC boy, that's my yeah. goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel like them too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Boy, like, problem, yeah. Bro. yeah, and I just... I'd watch that shit every, every day. day and I'd yeah. put everything they were doing into play. And I'd go grab the same weights as yeah. they were yeah. grabbing and it humbled me real fucking quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'd put those weights down and I'd grab five pounds later. Yeah. Yeah. Put those weights down and grab five pounds later yeah. and I just okay. showed up every single day. Okay. So like when I got out of that, it was kind of like, what the fuck? Like yeah. you were just going hard for like seven years nonstop. Right. Yeah. Addicted, yeah. yeah, but then families and all that shit happens, you know. So, yeah, that's dope, bro. I mean, but again, one thing I would say is, I mean, with you being able to basically just put something down and, 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 and pick something else up, like you always kind of seem like you had another motivation to keep you going to do something else, regardless if it was, you know, doing the, I'm doing music videos or I'm leaving the army, right. or it's because of football, you, you find a way to kind of continue to persevere to the next, the right. next stage and the next stage. So, that's super dope. So I mean, you touched you touched on like I said bodybuilding and whatnot. So what are like some of your personal like, per, uh, what are the PRs they call it? You know, what PRs. I mean? I mean, I've hit like six on deadlift. Mm-hmm. I've hit four on bench. Mm-hmm. I've hit five on squats. Mm-hmm. I mean, as far as like powerlifting, these are hundreds stuff. of pounds. He's talking. <laughs> <laughs> like I like I, like I'm not there right now. Like I was way stronger when I was back then, you know. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I'm getting back there, and I'm yeah. I'm starting to get that like. I lost that dog a little bit, yeah. right. like that, like that aggression. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm just being able to snap on some shit again. Yeah. And it feels good. Like I, th- yeah. I thought the shit was gone. Yeah. Like I thought I couldn't find that. You know, like when you get under that bench, and you just know that yeah. shit's moving. Mm-hmm. Like you lose it yeah. until mm-hmm. you go get that shit back. You gotta earn that shit. 100%. Right. So, so what could you tie into? Because. Um, all of those things I can see a, a common thread. What would you say is the common thread or things that uh, a, a common trait you used to thrive in football, bodybuilding, personal training, and now video? What is the, what's one thing that you said you carried over that was a lesson that you can see and use in all of those videos? Yeah, it's just one of the every Everything that I do, I love. Mm-hmm. Like. It's, it's that simple. I just love doing it. Mm-hmm. All those things were always a passion, and somehow I always made them work. Obviously, football back in the day, I was still with parents, but lifting, I loved it, so I turned personal training. Yeah. Kept me in the gym all the time. Yeah. Learned how to make money with it. Video, love doing it. Yeah. Learned how to make money with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like it allowed me just to do what I love continuously. That way, I don't hate it. Yeah, 100%. and which is crazy though, is because like even the personal training part, I ended up hating it. Mm-hmm. Not the people. It's mm-hmm. just a lot of things that came with that shit. Right. And it just kind of burned me out, and that's why I had to step away from it for a while. That's why I didn't even want to look at it. But we're here now, and I'm back in it, and I'm starting to love it again. For I have sure. to be there every day. So, so now it seemed like so even that because I'm, I'm just listening to your story and putting these pieces together, man. It's like no matter what. Um, and I see the cross on your on your on your wristband. Um, no matter what, it starts with your love, and then it ends up with people. Yeah, it starts with your love, Facts. and then it ends up with people. Do you feel like that's your higher purpose? Is to uh, 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 shed the light on people and, and help uh, help serve people? I really feel like um that's kind of like my one of my um, strong traits. I'm really good with people. Mm-hmm. And I, I like to connect people. I like to bring pe- the right people together. Because I know if I bring the right people together, bigger yeah. things are going to happen. Magic. And I've said that for a long time. Because yeah. I was thinking about when you was mentioning CT, you was mentioning Mike, all these, I watch all the same people, right? Yeah. All the same dudes. 
Um, and I think about I played football, I played college ball, did the whole thing, right? So we have a lot in common just yeah. listening to you. And I'm like, all right, one of the things uh, that that I can see that you learn in all those all those uh, areas is, is that determination, right? Like there's going to be hard shit. How do you stay determined, motivated, and persevere? Like, right. well, if somebody was listening and they're going through a thing right now and they're like, maybe they maybe they football thing just hit a, hit a wall. Right. What could you tell somebody that that's going to get them through that to possibly persevere into something else? What would you tell them? You, you, you got to go to the top of the mountain regardless. Right. You can either think about it or you can see yourself at the top right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, for me, I like, you can wait here <laughs> or right. you can just start climbing. Right. Right. right, You know what I mean? Like, people ask me all the time, even with video, like, how do I get better at video? Like, can you teach me? I'm like, no, I can't. Right. Yeah. Right. You just gotta do. You it. gotta go pick that shit up. Reps, reps, reps. You reps. have to. You have to go rep the shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can teach you things, right. but you, you have to earn the. I always tell people you gotta earn the questions, because mm-hmm. you don't even know what to ask yet. Right. Yeah. Because you haven't ran into the problem. Right. So how are you supposed to solve a problem that's not there yet? That you never even had yet. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. I love. I like that. I like that uh, uh, mindset because. Sometimes people, and I, I use the, uh, an example of usually I, if somebody want to get in shape, I say, I can give you the best fitness yeah, like, equipment like, yeah. ever, tell you what to do, but if that shit becomes a laundry holder, yeah. what was the point? Right. Facts. So, you know what I mean? If you can't do a push up, this ain't going to help you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Because what I do is way different than what my clients are doing. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And so to be able to, and I think that's a key. Is, is to be able to teach what you learn. Yep. Yeah. Right? So that if you learn something, you can teach it. Now you you know, I think the percentage is like 95% of information you retain if you learn to teach it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. A lot of people just like to hear it. It's 10% is what mm-hmm. you retain. They just want to In listen and out to it. the other, yeah, yeah, for sure. But when you learn something to teach it, and, and to be able to say, this is where I started at, and this is how you're going to get there, Facts. I think that's the one that's, that a lot of people uh, miss, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things I catch in coaching right now, too, is that people want to get down. I want to help, right? Cool. And, and what I've noticed is people give me their resume, right? Mm-hmm. But they give me their football playing resume. Mm-hmm. Football playing resume doesn't tell me you know how to coach. 100%. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, great, you was dope on the field. Do right. you know yeah. how to teach yeah. that? Yeah. Yep. You know I mean? see it all the time with personal training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell all us about that. Would you see, or even even if you see it with, with bad media advice. You know? Well, it's even personal training. It's like you'll see people that go through four years of school, mm-hmm. but yeah. they ain't got the time under that barbell, bro. Yeah, right. absolutely. Like, but then you also see the guy that's strong as hell that throws weight around. Mm-hmm. He'll never be able to personal training. That was me when I first started personal training. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I, I came so natural. My first client, her name was Britt Palmer. Mm-hmm. I had her do lunge, lunge squats until mm-hmm. she couldn't walk. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, that's not how you train. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's right. not how you train. Yeah, you're not supposed to destroy them yeah. so that they never come back. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought it was, bro. I'm like, yeah. I humbled me real quick. I'm like, I had clients that couldn't pick up, like you said, couldn't do five pound dumbbells. So right. it's like, how do you get a resistant man? Teach him how right. to do that from ground up. Yeah. So like, yeah. So it's, so it's not like you, majority of the thing you just throw yourself into it. You got to be in in it to figure out what I really want to do with it. Yeah. How do I become a, first of all accustomed and make this part of my life or my regimen? You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, how do I learn it too? I can again teach teach it back right. to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, so with you again having kind of you kind of you live in like a a wonderful world of fitness and video which is again all you see on every social media outlet at this point so what what are some of the the some of the common mistakes you see from the fitness influencers that you see out there doing god knows what or the advice they're they're, they're providing to these people um i just can't i don't know how to even answer that but i just can't stand all the goofy shit in fitness like the like i'm just a very like the meat and potato kind yeah, of no guy. Like, I want to know the basics. Like, I want to see you squatting, benching, the deadlifting. Big three. The, the big, big three. three. But yeah. doing the movements right. correctly. Clean. Like, yeah. like so not doing die. the weird... Like, like when I see people on, like, the stair climber doing the side steps and shit, like, yeah. that shit drives me crazy. 
Like, yeah. that, that's walk, my, walk straight on that thing. Yeah, yeah. the one pet peeve I hate like, of mine when I see people on the stairs, it's like you're holding your whole body weight on your arms. Right. It's like, yeah. you, you know, like, you know, like, you're not working your legs at that point. You're I, like, yeah. <laughs> right. And like, I mean, I'll be at the point where I need to hold that, yeah. hold that yeah. shit. I'm going to keep burning those calories, but like, you see the side steps and, I don't know. The cutesy shit. Like, yeah, like, I don't. Let me hang with one arm and then do a curl yeah. with a leg weight on my... Like, what are we doing? Yeah, it's like, yeah, let's just get to the fucking... Let's get to the man shit. I saw some shit. Or the woman shit. How are we Yeah, at I it? saw some shit with, with the dude was standing on the dumbbells. Right? And, the, and the top weight. On the top. So yeah. the dumbbells... Yeah. Why? Yeah. What? What? Why? It's just crazy. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, like, I've done a lot of stupid shit, but, like, I don't know. Oh, you know, I've seen a couple but, of... And then I hate fake natties, dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate that's this fake... I was just about I to hate ask fake you, natties. what is your stance... I hate fake on, natties. On, on, ...on natty versus enhanced? Bro, stop fucking lying. Yeah. Okay. I don't give a shit. If, okay, so here's my thing. You can shut the fuck up, you know? I don't know if I'm able yeah, to swear yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just shut the fuck up and not say shit. Yeah. Right. You know? Or you could just what admit that? to what you're on. Yeah. But my thing is, like, if you selling fitness yeah. or selling programs yeah. or selling yeah. diet, you gotta let the people know that. Yeah, I'm on the cycle. You on the you on the <laughs> sauce, dog? Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna judge you in the fitness world. Outside yeah. of that, people are gonna look at you like you're crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But in the fitness world, no one's gonna look at you like they you're just crazy. wanna know what's what. They wanna know what's up. Cause you don't wanna sell. Yeah. Like you. Ne- there's a dude I'm following on the on the fifty percent natty. It's hilarious. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I ain't seen it. And, and so he's a big dude. He's on juice, yeah. right? Yeah. Trying everything, right? All of it. And he calls himself fifty percent natty. He got shirts that say I'm fifty. So he's telling you, yeah, yeah. I'm not natty. Like you can't be. 50% yeah, you see him natty. all over now. Right. You it's can't like... be that, right? Um. So so your stance on that. Uh, uh, one one of the biggest names in 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 uh, uh, influencer fitness was Cali, right? Cali Muscle. Have yep. You been watching him lately. Yep. Yep. Okay. Thoughts. Yep. Cali. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I, I love yeah. my man Cali. Yeah, I, I love, love him too. Man, I, I got a soft spot for him, right? But you knew what you was doing, yeah. dog. Yeah. <laughs> you knew what you was doing. Tell me more, man. I want your your take like, on that. Like you you knew what you was doing. Like he he he, he kind of comes off like acting like he didn't know what he was doing to himself yeah. to put himself where he's at. I'm glad he's still around because yeah, yeah. I always love Cali. I love his content. Hundred percent. And do. like for me, it's like one of the things like I don't give a shit if you say you are, or you aren't. Mm. Just don't be selling some shit if selling people a dream. You know, selling people a dream when. You know, for a fact, you want that sauce because yeah. that shit Super works. Sauce. <laughs> Super sauce, yeah. yeah. And yo, like, and, and, yeah. and so now, like, I, and I appreciate what he's done now, where he's taking, he said, yo, this is wrong, this is wrong, but now it's like everything is wrong. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Everything His content is wrong. flipped. So, so, yeah. so do you think a lot of these fitness muscle muscle dudes, you know, what I'm saying, I, I, I think it transitions from. Fitness to like bodybuilding or right. powerlifting or whatever. Like, you think a lot of these cats, a lot of cats you see on like all the social media, are, yeah. are clearly on some juice or yeah. something. The veins tell you everything. I was just like, yeah, the shoulder caps, like, yeah, the veins just tell you everything. Like, like there's human veins. <laughs> all right, so the, right, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Am I lying, bro? Oh, yeah, like, 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 like there's human veins, yeah. and then if your vein is the size of two fingers, yeah. All okay. the way through your fucking chest, like yeah. All right, like, so it's so, the twenty-year-olds that look like men, bro. Like yeah. you're like, damn. So, let, let me get y'all take on only only, only guy that I really kind of really follow this because he's super entertaining to watch is a uh, Cali Green. I think his name is. Oh, Kai Green. Kai, Kai Green. Kai, Kai, Kai Green. Kai, yeah, yeah. And, and, and my man literally looks like the Black Hulk for real. Yeah, like, no, yeah. Kai, and Kai is juiced to the tip. Yeah, he's I mean, an artist though. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He's an artist before he's a bodybuilder. Yes. I feel like now. Yes, you have know? you seen his work? Like his yes. his his um his uh, posing is yeah. just insane. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, that's, that's what, that's which why won him it. his the last Arnold Classic yeah. that he was in. Mm-hmm. He won, crazy, and that's what Arnold even said when he interviewed him. He was like, "This is why the pose routine is important." Yeah, yeah, because yeah. nobody's messing with Kai. Nah, yeah. but Kai even is not. He hasn't been really competing like that. Yeah, nah, um, yeah I think his competing days are gone. Yeah, but. yeah, but he's he don't need him. 
No. No. Right? Yeah, you, again, you probably getting paid out of this world. I'm Ridiculous, just, right? They don't, get, they don't make... Bodybuilders don't make nothing. Not I don't so. even care if you're winning. It's not the sport that's making you the money. It's yeah, endorsements. Yeah. Yeah, it's endorsements yeah, and sponsorship. Yeah. So he, I think that's what... It looks like that's what got him. Is like, oh, I don't need to be Mr. Olympia right now. I got X million amount of followers... And that's going to take me to Dubai. That's why you see a lot of these guys just going to influence around. You don't see them compete. Right. But then you got like Sam Sulek. I don't know if you guys have seen him. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not familiar. White boy just yoked out his mind like 20 years old. Yeah. Just, he's going to be the next. He's the next thing. He's 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 the next one up, (laughs) I feel (laughs) like. I really do. He got got to deal with Big Ramey, but. Uh, Big Ramey's a problem, but he's. he's, But I don't think Sam, I think. He'll almost be out of there by the yeah, time yeah, Sam's Sam going get up there, be So maybe a health question around like powerlifting and bodybuilding, so like that. Do you see like that's like a lot of strain on your heart, or like oh, yeah. I see a lot of cats like again like when you get like 40, 50, I and not saying it's everybody, but it's people you mentioned, CT Flesh or some other some other people yeah. like to be at the top. Yeah, like is that a lot of sacrifice? And I'm just like, is it is it worth it in the end? Then so you cut, you cut it, your life if it's worth it to you. Yeah, that's what it like. Like, like if you ask, <laughs> that's, that's a great. That's well, a great not like, <laughs> it's one worth of my favorites. Like, well, well, the goat, right? Ronnie, you look at Ronnie yeah, Coleman. Yeah, if sure. you ask Ronnie, he said, yeah. Yeah. And his only regret was that he didn't do you. he didn't do six reps at 800 on his back. Like, it ain't up to me or you to yeah, say, yeah, for sure. yo, Ronnie, I don't think you should squat. 600 right. pounds, right. 800 pounds. Right. Ronnie gonna look at you like you crazy. Like yeah. this is this is what I'm here for. Like, and I don't know. I think that I think you're right. Right. Like it's, it's one of those things where it's. But as far as health, no. Yeah. It's I being think a, what being you're willing to sacrifice. NFL, mm. NBA. That's not healthy. That's just not healthy. None like, of it is. Like, like just think about. They put themselves through the most every yeah. single well, day. Well, Michael Phelps, right? Who's yeah. a swimmer? And you yeah, would yeah. think, well, that's not a whole lot of contact. Are you kidding me? Like this dude. At one point, was twenty thousand calories a day. Yeah. Now who? How? Yeah. How do you eat that? And that Sam Solik, he's a swimmer too. Yeah. So he went from swimming that? to bodybuilding, which is a great transition, right? Because swimmers are like yeah, super he's still got on that wild. board and still do that shit. But yeah, but his metabolism so high because he knows how to eat because he's a swimmer. Because swimmers eat more than probably any other athlete. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And so, like, when you when you look at that when. Do you feel a responsibility as you're filming or, or, or any content you're putting out? Do you feel a responsibility towards making sure that the, the viewer knows the truth behind what they're watching or do you leave it up to them? No, I feel like, so I got, yeah, I'm kind of on a whole different, for me, I don't believe anyone should be influenced by social media. Okay. But I also know we're all like influenced by social media. Right. I don't care who you are. Right. But, right. like, I shouldn't be doing something because Rich Piana told me this right. is what Rich Piana does <laughs> or any yeah. of these other people. Like, I don't believe in that. Um, but, like I said, if you're selling something, you got to be honest, yeah. especially if it's in the fitness industry. Because there's a lot of kids out here that's going to hurt themselves because they, you told yes. them the wrong information. Yeah, sure. you're putting the wrong information out there. Like, just do what you do and mm-hmm. be honest about it. For sure. Or say it in a way that's not incriminating, but... Yeah, right, right. <laughs> don't, yeah don't lead them astray, for sure. What, yeah. what about hustle? Because you mentioned family. What, what's hustle the family man like? Man, hustle the family man. I got four daughters. Uh-huh. You know, princess producer. Princess all. <laughs> yep, yep. Beautiful girl, wife. Um, and yeah, life's crazy. They're all growing up and mm-hmm. all because starting to play sports and just to be able to navigate that is something I never see myself doing. Right. But I'm doing it and mm-hmm. I'm doing it really well. Always strive to be better, you know, on mm-hmm. all sides of being a father and a mm-hmm. husband, you know. And I'm figuring it out though, and I'm confident where I'm at, and life's good. I, as a father, and, and you, you, you're a princess producer as well, right? Oh uh, yes, yeah, um, yes. Do you find yourself <laughs> now more, I guess, aware or conscious of the things that they see you watching or see you kind of listening? to or see right yeah there's some times where i'm in my car and i'm, I'm yeah. bopping my music that i'm like ready to bop to yeah 
And uh, That's every once in a while, Kevin Gates get on. Yeah. <laughs> and I love Gates, right? <laughs> Fact, and I'm like, oh, shoot, baby. Oh, <laughs> what did man. he just say? He didn't, wow. Yeah. What, how, do you, how do you deal with that transition, especially being in the realm that you're in? So, yeah, so the oldest one. So I don't really... I can't work at the house. Like okay. I can't edit videos of my kids right there. Like it's just not happening. It's just yeah, out of that I, state. Like yeah. when I get in the edit mode, I have to be locked in. Right. Like yeah, no, no don't traffic. talk to me. No <laughs> don't talk to me. So um, they don't really hear that. But my oldest, I'm starting to play more just because I just I'd rather them deal with it with me. Yeah, right. Than somewhere else. Than somewhere else. Like you're gonna hear this first with your pops. Yeah, he can explain stuff. So I can explain stuff and realize like this shit ain't real. Yeah. Cause like I'm like my one of my oldest kids like on TikTok and stuff and I'm just like Oh yeah. Hundred percent. You can just see like TikTok you you can see how it like shifts the way they think. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like but at the same time, you can't get away from it. All your friends have it. Like yeah. so what what's the point of me hiding this shit from you or keeping you away? Yeah. So when you do get it yeah, you now you're lose, attached to you lose your mind. Yeah, yeah if we could say that out loud, just in <laughs> case one of the kids of the parents that watch us, For sure. TikTok is not real. Yeah, like this. like IG is not like that world. The social media world yeah. is not real. The majority thing you see, it's entertainment. Here. For sure, right? Right. They'll and have some, just like any good entertainment. There's some sprinkle of truth. Yeah. Right, right. That's what makes it entertaining. One thing I can say too is, it's like, it's not alleviating the fact from you being a parent. Like, you know, right. what I'm saying? like, oh, because I did it when I was this age or whatever. Like, that's not. You know what I mean, like, times has changed tremendously for sure. Right. right? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like people allow, like, you know, what I mean, I remember like back in the day, if you'd walk home and your parents wouldn't be home, you go inside the house and you know make yourself watch TV, whatever. Times has kind of changed now. I wouldn't let my kid walk outside the door too, right, too, right, too far, too far, be at home by themselves, whatever. But let alone again, just the monitoring the amount of content or they're they're taking in through their phones or through, right. And that's like the big bed. thing is like like my little ones, like my youngest or my four year old should be on YouTube scrolling, mm -hmm. and they're not retaining nothing. Oh yeah, nothing. Their brain just yeah. called Snapchat brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You go don't in, me, it's don't gone. Me, don't me, don't yeah, it's me, gone. Don't but me, it just me. keeps switching. So we took that shit away, and you notice the change. Like oh, yeah. even from just having Netflix watching one show versus yeah, yeah. scrolling. Yeah. You know scrolling, what I mean? Yeah. Like that's the difference. And it's like for me, it's not really like I'm gonna protect my girls, but I'm so more focused on teaching them how to protect themselves. Yeah, for sure, giving the right tools. Like having the right tools, knowing that that shit's not real. Like. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're going to have those moments where... Because we're not their only influences. I'm not at all. You're, they're, <laughs> we're the most impo impactful. Yeah. But once they get to a certain yeah. age... Yeah. They're not even with us. Right. Like, yeah. now, they're with their teacher more than they're with us. You know what I mean? Like, as soon as they get into school, it's like... Their friends, everything else is influencing them. So, it's like... When they come home, that's your time to be like... How was your day? Yeah. Oh, you need the Stanley Cup? <laughs> yeah, for sure. The other right, day, yeah, I, took right, a, right. I took a normal <laughs> cup and I wrote Stan on it. And then I put Lee. I'm dead. <laughs> Stan Lee. Like, I spelled it wrong and everything. I'm like, this is my Stanley Cup. Stanley my kid I'm cracked up. Right <laughs> but she needed that Stanley yeah. Cup. And it's like one of those things, it's like, do you not get her the Stanley Cup while everyone else has one? 100%. Or do you get her the Stanley Cup so she, like, yeah, doesn't have to feel that type of stupid pressure right. at school? Right. You know what I mean? It's like, you can be that dick and be like, no, you can't have that. Yeah. I don't care about she that. She's going to find it another way. Or she's going to find it another way. Or just get her the Stanley Cup so she fit in. But yeah. it still comes with that lesson. Like, you realize that this cup... Don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. This is the same fucking thing. Yeah. Like, right. we, we're putting water in it. Yeah. yeah. We put water Everybody's in Everybody's putting water You see this cup from get and go? Yeah. But at the same yeah, time, I want you to have those nice things. Like, you want that fucking car, go it's get that balance. shit. Yeah. It's the balance. It's the balance. Go get right? that shit, you know? Like, you can have whatever you want, but... What matters is what we have or what we need, not what we have. What would you say for you then, as a parent, right, and and and, and all the different endeavors that you're going through, right? What are your two? I'll say two uh, strongest attributes that you have used throughout all of them. So one thing that I've had to learn, and I'm still learning today, and I feel like it's been like the last like 
eight, nine years of me actually focusing on it is patience. Mm -hmm. I'm very impatient with certain things, yeah. especially like going through doorways. Right. Your kids <laughs> hold you up a lot, yeah, yeah. you know? So it's like one of those things I'm like, yo, calm down. They're only four, they're only yeah, two, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. they're not on that. Like, so just like being patient all the way around. I feel like it's helped me actual business, though. Yep. Like, just in real life, you know what I mean? Making smarter decisions that way. And then just the ability to realize every day is a learning process. Mm. Like the amount of growth I've had since becoming a father, started as a stepdad, moved into actual fatherhood. It's just made me a better person all the way around because mm -hmm. I'm not just thinking about myself anymore. 100%. Mm -hmm. But it also taught me like other people outside of this circle yeah. don't fucking matter. 100%. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they don't like they don't matter, and that's something I've had to like. Yeah. adjust you big time because it was always everybody else everybody else yeah. I was just I'm just that kind of guy like yeah. if you're my homie like yeah. <laughs> you know like, yeah. the impact of that and I'm glad you said that um, because we live in the world of right now mm -hmm. and the two things you talked about patience is not right now right, right? and then it gets greater later. It gets greater later, right? And then you start learning. You said learning and growing that doesn't happen right now. Right. So if we had to summarize, it's like, you know, if you if you guys are, are, are really wanting, you see his content, it's popping, it's real, that didn't just happen today. Yeah. Right? Fact. Like he didn't wake up in the morning. That would be great. At and was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm the best ever. Yeah. Right? And did it. Like you, to be it, honest, I feel like. This year was the, the first year I looked at my shit, mm -hmm. and it was like, yo. This is dope. This is dope. <laughs> that's I thought it was I dope then, the artist, kind of, but like, I I'm like, artists do that. now I'm like, it was like one of those things like, yo, now you gotta look, because yeah. like, you go look at my Instagram, it's kind of like, yeah. all on sequence, it makes sense, like, yeah. I feel like it took until this year. I feel like I hit that 10,000 hour mark, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's yep. what I felt like. And again, so the, the ten thousand y'all not familiar the ten thousand dollars of master engineering, right? Like yeah. if, if if you don't understand that, that's probably why you're not start there. Start at the right. get your ten thousand hours in anything you love. Right. right. Come talk to and me. And then holler, right? Like that's the thing. And you probably won't need me at that point. <laughs> right. And then the funniest part I got that's one of my favorite lines in Troy, right? When the little kid is talking about is talking about Achilles and he's like, yeah. Are you not scared? Like yeah. That guy's huge. I'd be scared. Yeah. And he said the most coldest thing you can say to a little kid, but it's so true. He said, that's why nobody ever know your name. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you told a little sure. kid that, but it's the truth. Yeah. Oh, 10,000 scares you? Cool. Yeah. You're not going to be dope. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, just, no, it's just that facts. fact. You want to be the best at facts. something? 100%. 10,000 hours. Yeah, yeah I feel right. like everything that I do, I've literally put that much time in. 100%. Yeah, man. I love that. Well, let's tra just transition real quick into you. This again, you doing all these hip hop videos and whatnot, and you know the artists that you deal with. I mean, what what goes into your your craft of creating creating that image for? It's, it's like, do you hear the music and then you create the image, the imagery it's, from that point, or do they do they come to you with the imagery that they want? So this is one thing I've been fighting for a long time. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to, because some clients allow that, mm -hmm. some don't. Like some of my biggest videos, my, my favorite videos are ones that yeah. I created it from start to finish. They yeah. just had the song, you know, and I brought that to life 100%. with the storyline. Um, some artists are very impatient. And they just want that quick that, flash dr that drill yeah. Yeah, yeah. looking video. and Like I can do that I, too, but. I can do that too, but I'm trying <laughs> to, like I really, as a, I really want to tell stories. Yeah. Like that's my, like, that's everything I want to do. Yeah. Um, so I kind of stepped back from videos as yeah. far as music videos, and yeah. I probably only shot three this year, but I'm about to start Going back diving back. into being more of an artist myself so, and not letting the other artists control. Yeah, no, 100%. You have a, you have a vision of your work, so it's, it's, not, it's different not, for everybody, man. Yeah. It's different for every song, because some artists might come with me with a great idea, like, hey, like Slim does this a lot, yeah. like, hey, this is what I want to do. Like, yeah, and then it, he yeah, allows me to yeah, make that happen. For sure. But then also, Slim, the, the video you guys are about to see drop mm -hmm. is just one of them running gun videos. But yeah. it works for him and me because the chemistry is like, oh yeah, yeah, like we're locked in like that. So right. 
really just depends what front and to answer your question this is how i really like to do it artist pays me i develop a treatment yep. that goes along with the song that they've sent mm -hmm. they confirm it we yeah, shoot it we make it happen it's right. beautiful every fucking time i promise yeah. <laughs> right, 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 and, that, right. and that's like kind of your trademark though too like just watching some of the, your videos like you have like a certain signature style of yep. how you do your thing so i mean so if anyone's against that I feel like they be shooting themselves in the foot. Like, why? Why would you? You know, what I mean, go to McDonald's and, and get a get a get a big right. Mac with no bun and no right. sauce. Right, right, right. No, what was the point? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's the great. Anybody that was great in any, especially uh, uh, um, video um, and, and cinematography and all the things, right? Yeah. They have a they style. style. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't want to be the guy you hired to tell what to shoot. Yeah. Right. Like, I want to be known for what I do. Yeah. Facts. You came and found me because you know what I'm going to do. Yeah, you know what I was like, going like to do. Like, if you're in a Tarantino film, oh, yeah. you know... I, I, the, I, I'll go say Hype Williams. Yeah, yeah. Hype yeah. Williams is another one. Like, you knew... Yeah. Like, that's where I want to be. And it, You know what you're getting. Like, it's don't more you. so, I don't even care about shooting the thing, to be yeah. honest, bro. I want to I want to direct it. I want to yeah. come the up with the treatment. I want to develop that stuff. And that's one thing I feel like I've... I've lacked on since I started, mm. like, and I need to get back into those modes to where I'm creating pieces that people can go back and watch. Oh, no one yeah. wants to go watch a, a run and gun drill video over yeah. and over again. Right. You can watch the video one time and you just go listen to the yeah. song. Like, right, right, but there's right. certain music videos you go back and watch what? because they were so well done. Like Joyner Lucas videos or, yeah. you know, Lil Baby, like, 100%. they be telling full stories and that yeah. should be a movie. I'd like right. to do. I don't know if I'd ever get to a movie. That, that was my next question. I was like, have you ever saw yourself maybe doing it? Maybe do a, a, a short film. Yeah, yeah, yeah like short I want to do shorts. I yeah. do. Like, even short music videos. Yeah. Like, 15-minute long videos yeah. that yeah. tie in with the song. Like, so my me Jackson, and Slim got some... Yeah. Michael um, Jackson stuff, where... Yeah. Remember, remember how Mike was the exactly. first one yeah. to put a production yeah. of the video of the music. Right? Fifty yeah. Cent was doing that shit yeah. for a little yeah. bit too. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. that's kind of what I want to get into, just because. I, I, I think you can, again another another. I go back to Hype Williams too. I remember you know all the all the '90s videos and early you know early 2000s 2000 videos. Yeah. Like I said, then he got in the belly. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Shot the whole movie, and you can kind of tell even the beginning. Maybe the beginning scene when they walk through the club. In the club. And, that's yeah. Hype Williams. That, like that was like I feel like they should have just broke out into like. The musical part of Belly for one moment, you right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, they right, continued right, on, you know what right. I'm saying? But yeah, that's what's up, though, man. That's the beauty of it, and I, and I can appreciate um, your mindset behind it because I think even just listening to your story, the growth is exponential. Did right? you see me when I was 20? Right. To 24, 20, probably, bro. I was unrecognizable, probably. I was. <laughs> I mean, I always, you could always tell that I was going to do something because yeah. I was always doing something. But, right. man, I was partying like yeah. I was living, right. living. I was in the gym just but I was so self-centered, like yeah. just had to be in the mirror all day long, you know, like. Right. So that's why I think like where I'm at right now and going back to what I was doing, but mm -hmm. keeping it balanced is going to help me. Yeah, on the long term, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. so, so, uh, uh, next year. Well, you know, let's say this year. Cause this is we going in February, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, what, what, what would have to be true for you to say, yo, this was the best year ever for me? Shit. <laughs> First of all, let's get everybody to su go subscribe to my man. Hey, you where they find you at? The real hustle, right there. The real let's get, hustle. Let's get, let's get those R E A L. Yes, yeah. don't type that in because you won't find it. R E E L. Yeah. For sure. And make sure, make sure you go and tap into all everything on social media with my guy. Mm -hmm. But continue not to cut you off, my guy. Yeah, what would have to happen? What would have to be true for you to be like December thirty first? That I was the best year for me. I'm not gonna lie. I've taken a lot of losses over the last eight years. If I could get out of this year without losing anybody, mm. that'd be the best year ever. Yeah, yeah. it's second that, yeah. second that, yeah. that's yeah. Love that. Relationships are everything, man. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. But like, again, like I said, go ahead and shout out your uh, all your information so they can find you and get get in touch with you, man. And if yeah. you're looking for a, how about an actual director to do yeah, some, like do to some, do some, some work real. Real Otherwise, work. I'll come with my phone. But <laughs> you want some real, real stuff, bro? Yeah. How about how about serious inquiries only? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My bad. Go ahead and shout yourself. Uh, out, you can go to uh, therealhustle.com. That's my website, or you can just follow me on IG, The Real Hustle. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay. You got Everything's you got YouTube, the real YouTube. hustle. YouTube. All right. Yep. That's Everything the real R E E L. The yes, real sir. hustle. R E E L. Yeah. To obtain by any means necessary. Let's go, oh, man. What you got going on, my guy? Uh, you know, we steady. We were about to go into season two okay. of uh, of uh, in this corner with the champ. Um, I'm super super stoked for the for the for the season. We in full full preseason right now. That's for, for the Snow Leopards. Shout out to the Super Bowl Snow Leopards. Yeah, yeah. And if uh, you want to play for the Snow Leopards, yes. Shout it out. Holla at me. Uh, go to the suit official. No. Go to his DM. Do not. Go to his. Um. Uh, yeah, go to officialsnowleopards.com, uh, uh, officialsuitfallsnowleopards.com. The registry is there. The story of the team is there. The pictures. Um, it's a vibe. If I, I would love to coach you, but I only have two requests. Uh, come, okay, with being violent. And, and two, ready to learn, right? For sure. If you're not coachable and you're not a, a, a listener, it, it ain't for you. The energy and the vibe we got right now, bro. Yeah. It's, it's such a bop, and I'm so proud, and, and, and I admire these women more than you can imagine because I'm watching them get it in. You know, from, from fitness, when you watch them, oh, you yeah. get it, oh, yeah. and it unlock. Yeah. And women are relentless, bro. For sure. like, they, they, they are the most violent creatures. I, on yo, the I promise you. I promise I would, you. In my personal training days, I'd rather... Train women. Train women. Hundred percent. Because you don't gotta deal with the ego. All right? of it. Like, you ain't gotta deal with just, the I know better. Like yeah. sometimes you they do work right? harder. But they oh, gonna yeah. work. The biggest thing you get over with, with, with females is they gotta trust you. Yeah. They gotta know yeah. that you have their best interest yeah. yeah. And and and, and with these snow leopards, man, we, I'm telling you, WFA, y'all on notice. All right. cup, we about to bop y'all. Uh-huh. We're going to camp, bro. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. I love it. I, we're gonna make sure we have something special with the snow leopards. You know, I might be on the sideline doing some obnoxious. Nah, it's gonna happen. He's gonna be on the sideline. We might, we might have to get my guy to do some shooting some nice some some dope uh cinematography. Cinema, what is it? Cinematography? Yeah, yeah man. Cinema, cinema, well, man. Cinematography. Cinematography. Yes. Did you get that cinnamon type. Cinematography. <laughs> this, this is where he goes left all the time. But yeah, you know what I mean? But make sure you check us out, man. Again, we for the record, man. I appreciate y'all. Salute. Peace.